get this club from nothing. And I loves it. Excellent. Here we are with um, our episode two, as you should call it, mate, um, the dugout. Um, today we, we are um, interviewing Di Hills, legend, born of mine. Um, Di, how are we, buddy? You okay? Yeah, all good, mate. Yourself? Not too bad, mate. Bearing up, mate. Yeah, yeah. Looking good there, pal. Lost a bit of weight? Yeah, not too bad, mate. To uh, marathon man now and known as, so... I'm on my third or fourth marathon, so Amazing, uh, I'm hopefully doing it for complete London this year uh, in October. So in a record, in a PB, that's my next goal, three hours and 15 minutes. So okay. What's made you go into that then, Di? Was any anything? Uh, well, I don't know if anybody knows, but my son was uh, taken ill uh, with a brain tumour. Uh, three years ago now, yeah. basically we were flying to America for uh, proton beam treatment, which was uh, all paid for by the NHS and funded yeah. and whatnot. But uh, we had long days in America while he was having treatment. He was there Monday to Friday having treatment. So we'd uh, he'd go to the hospital in the morning, afternoon, whatever. So I just one day I jumped out of a running machine <laughs> and thought I couldn't run literally for five minutes. Yeah. I was running five minutes walking, blah, blah, blah. And I, when I was out there, I signed up for a marathon. Yeah. Just to give me a, a motivation that, that he had to get through his days. Amazing, man. The tough days. So, yeah. It's my, that's my happy place now. Oh, that's where I go. And, that's, and I, I love it. And I, you know, want to improve as we all do. Yeah. I know we're getting older and stuff, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, awesome. that's great, mate. It's inspirational, mate. That's uh you know, I, I know obviously I hope, hope the boys doing well and everything, pal, and yeah, uh, what you're good. doing is outstanding as well, mate. So yeah, that's fantastic. Awesome, mate. Yeah, Dave, so we'll go we'll go straight into it now, mate. We'll um we'll talk about uh, your first memory of Bonham Mind, mate. What was your first memory um of going up the park mower? Well, um, going back a long time ago now. It was, uh, I can't remember the year, 1993, uh, I believe, no, before that, I think. I have got it written down somewhere. Yeah, 1993. Right. Huh? You prepared yeah, yourself, mate. I like it, right? Yeah. A bit of notes, like? Yeah, I made a bit of notes so I wouldn't forget <laughs> anything. So, 1993, um, it was, I think, if I remember rightly, uh, our age group, which would have been under 14s, under 15s, maybe, around that time. We were ball boys with a couple of other age groups. So we were asked to go up on a freezing cold, wet uh, day. And uh, it was Swansea against Bonnie Mine in the quarterfinals. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Of uh, the Swalik Swalik Cup. I might have been the Swept Cup at that time, going back yeah. that far. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the first recollection. I'm watching the likes of Mark John, Neil Sturgis, Tony Sturgis, parking yeah. down. I think remember. Uh, I think it was Neil Sturgis hitting a ruck. I think he, he hit the broke about 20 yards. <laughs> I think he nearly killed him. But uh, that was my first real uh, recollection of uh, Bony Mine, really. And it was yeah. uh, it was great to get in the club after, you could say, in, in, out of the dry. It was um, it was it was a horrific day. I I, I can remember that. And obviously, a bit, yeah, bit younger yeah. than yourself, there, Diane. But um. Do you know when you were watching that game, did you have like kind of any aspirations or did you think to yourself, oh, yeah, I know yeah, what? massive, as you said, I, I was, I think I was playing scrum half at the time, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. So I played scrum half uh, at the time and I think Mikey Claremont might have been playing at the time, yeah. at nine. And, and I thought, wow, I, I want to play, I want to go there one day and I ran out in front of big crowds like this. Uh, and that's, I was fortunate. To run out in front of big crowds, but that was uh, a massive intimation to me watching yeah. the senior. You know, I looked up and still look up to Mark John Sturge, yeah. you know, all the Sturges, everybody you know, you know, involved in the club now. So yeah, it was it was a massive inspiration to me that day, and um, 
Yeah, it's, it, you know, I, I'm fortunate, like I said, to to go on and play for the first team. Was it always born in mind for you, Dave? Was it? Um... Um, yes, until later on in, in my career. Yeah. Yes, but um, born in mind was always, that is always still will be my 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 club. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah, I've yeah. been to Birch Grove, PP. I want to mention another club, which <laughs> myself and you went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift, but, lift club, uh, mate. Yeah, good times. <laughs> good times, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it, you know, I spent uh, close to 20 years then, probably, Amazing. as a junior player to a, to a senior. And I went on to film, fulfil my dreams, you know, play. But it's strange, really, because my mother, fa- uh, my brother, two brothers and my father, all football, all their lives. Yeah. And I, and my friends growing up, uh, Jolly, Gary Davis, Gron, we we all stuck together as, as we did. We all went training one day as a, as a gang, and we never looked back, you yeah. know. But uh, are we still friends now? Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. what fortunate that rugby brings to you. You know, I got we've played for loads of clubs, and you still go to town or up a play. Yeah. Club team come to the club and play and it, they support us. Oh, I remember Dyers, remember Stuart Allen, or oh, remember Mark Jock. You know, it's great you have friends for life yeah, in, in rugby. Do you know what I mean? You're spot on there, mate. Like you, you talk about friends now for myself, like, you know, all my close, close mates are the boys with the rugby, like, you know, so it yeah. does give that kind of bond in there that... Um, oh, massive, mate. And it gives you special, massive man. support with everything I've been through with my son again. Yeah. It, it, you know that they're, that they're there for if anything ever happens. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, special, so, but didn't it? Yeah. So, um, Dai, can you remember your first senior game? Can you remember who it was against? When uh, it was? Yeah, I made my debut in uh, 1998 for the first team. Uh, but... I had already played for the first team. It was a mixture in a, a Tavali Cup games uh, the season before. I think we lost in the final the year okay. before, but I played every game, I believe, uh, running up to that final. And then Daisy, I believe, left me out of the score. <laughs> <laughs> We've for, all for, been there, mate. We've all for, been for the there. final, but, uh, which I was a little <laughs> bit disappointed at the time, but you get over them sooner <laughs> <laughs> Probably not at the time, but no. uh, yeah, that was so. Going back to that, um, yeah, I played pre season with the first team I was involved in. I think I remember we played Newbury, uh, I think we played Neath, um, I think it was Lee Carson every, every chance to play in. So we went down on the bus, I was still traveling, I still wasn't picked in, in, in the start, yeah. And uh, I think Mel, the physio, was, uh, at the time, was working on Lee on the way down. And she basically said he's not available. So mm-hmm. next thing, tap on the shoulder, you start then. So, who was that from, Dave? Who was, uh, who was the coach? Um, I think it was, it was Mark and Daisy, I believe, and, and Dave Fox. Oh, OK. Yeah, Dave yeah, Fox, Fox and Mark and Daisy, I believe. I remember Neil Stur just being on a bus as well. So five minutes from Clandeffrey, now the bus stops in a delay by. And I'll never forget it. Mm. Uh, and I, we, we'd had new signings uh, that, that pre-season, like we always did. And Sturgey comes into the middle of the bus. He starts screaming, effing and jeffing. <laughs> so some of these players, they cower in their seat. They know where to look. They look, who, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> And, and it, it was, it was, and I, I still, you, I can see him there in the middle of the bus now, screaming yeah. and that's a, a team talk. And I've never been so pumped ever in my life. Amazing. I was, I wasn't the biggest in club players, yeah. but I, I give everything. And uh, Neil, I looked, looked up to Neil, he was a big inspiration. And Tony, yeah. uh, in back row players. You know, massive inspiration. It's you know, Neil. I spent a lot of time, maybe in the early years, with with Neil in the seconds. And again, some of his team talks were yeah. a bit far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really said said. 
we can't repeat on this. Uh... No, no, it's a family show, mate. It's a, yeah, family, it's a family show. show Could, yeah. you, uh, so it was Slandavry away, was it? Uh, yeah, type? yeah. We, 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 it's always a tough place to go in Slandavry, as you know yourself. Yeah, um, but remember, it was always early September. They always the first game of the season would be uh, a boiling hot days, 80 degrees, 90 degrees, whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we won the game. I think uh, 20 points. Uh, yeah, Clandavry 20, Bonnie Mine 24. Oh, and uh, yeah, so at this time, then he would always you know, have a couple of points stop off. But you get back farmers, to, was it? Was the farmers yeah, on the way back? Farmers in, in, farmers in, uh, in the bunch. <laughs> yeah. And you'd get back and you'd have re re reading the Sporting Post. Amazing, and, yeah. and, and then you'd have the match report and everybody, is, and they won't, they will say it, they'd look who was man of the match. <laughs> and I looked in the tape that. And again, I'll, I'll never forget, I was man and I was star oh, choice. Oh, and your first game. And, and that, my, that was my first, yeah, debut for, for the first team, yeah. So, and a match and a, and a win and a good stop off. Yeah, yeah. If Carlsberg so, did uh, debuts, but that would yeah, be that's right. That, as you said, uh, Sturgis inspirational team talk. <laughs> yeah, Do you know, just touching upon that, day, like you know, I um, I I was fortunate enough to play with you, um, and you know, I used to watch you play when I used to go up a club and watch uh, watch you you a lot, like, and you know what what struck me with, with yourself is like like you said there, you were never the biggest. Um, and for back row forward, um, obviously predominantly you know, usually quite big and quite physical. But I think you, you kind of broke the mould in that in our regard. I, I could just remember you being on the bottom of everything, every ruck, every mould, taking a shoe in, taking a bit of a beat, then being an absolute pain in the ass to to the opposition players, mate. And I always think, and, and I think because I know when you were a born of mine boy yourself and and boys like Darren Paul and then. Like I always looked up to that and thinking, you know what, these, these boys are born of mine through and through, and, and you can really tell with your performances, mate. Yeah. Just just one of those ones where you just kept going, kept going, kept going, no matter what. Like you gave 100% uh, for the badge, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's that's like I said, I wasn't the biggest, and nor was Ali and Davis. I don't know. Just a little bit before your time, you might have. You mm. might probably no. remember him playing. Ali and the Rat, they used to call him. Right. Yeah, I've heard of him. So, yeah. Again, he, he he's about three, four inches shorter than me, or you know, two or three inches shorter. Yeah. Not the biggest, but again, someone I looked up to, looking out of when I was coming out of youth and into the sec, you know, in the seconds, my first year of, uh, out of youth. Yeah. You know, looking up to the rat and thinking, well, he's not the biggest of guys, so I'm sure I could give it a go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We because it wasn't until I played scrum half all the way until I was and the 16s and then we were short in the forwards in youth at one of my first games and I went and played seven and I, and I never played that again I never yeah. played nine again in my life so again yeah. it's uh, you know like I said I wasn't the biggest but I, you know I tried to put my heart on my sleeve and and play for the back as you said uh, and that's what I hope inspired some kids you know the watching yeah, yeah. You know? 100%, mate. 100%. Um, absolute dog on the pitch, mate. I can, uh, you know, <laughs> many a time seen you cut and bruised and flipping, yeah. having a bit of a ding dong, mate. So, yeah, it was uh, great to watch. Um, to touch upon that guy, like, obviously, you've probably been in, in a few, well, uh, quite a lot of battles, mate. Is there any, like, player who stood out against you and thought, oh, he's giving me a tough time. Like, every time I play him, he's, he's, he's flipping um, what, what it, player. It's, it's a couple of guys we, we, we'll go back to, like, where we, you'll ask me a couple of questions further on now, is, is, is like, we played uh, Cardiff Blues, or Cardiff, as we were at the time, in a, in a couple of times in the, in yeah. the cup games and stuff. You had, like, Hemia Taylor. Yeah. The guy, the guy was huge. You know, John Devereux, again, played for Pont de Poole. Yeah, he just you know he was coming down that line, and if you didn't get a, grab a leg or a shirt, yeah. he, he, he was going the guy, and everybody yeah. looking at you because you missed yeah. the tackle. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, it's so. But it's a couple really. Uh, like I said, uh, John Devereux was one one big, hard, strong man to, to carry the ball in the centre. Yeah, and he, he was a tough man every time we played him when he played for Pontypool. He just come down the middle and. Like a train, and literally, we we never had a, a I would say a, a good 
tackling Ted at the time. I was just, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was like, a bit like, I was just going to say, yeah. get the red flag out. <laughs> There's been a few tens I got at my club, isn't it? Good yeah, we won't name them on you. But, no, we won't yeah. name and shame them, but I think they know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> so that, you, that was your job, mate, go and protect your ten. Yeah, yeah. So one, one I played local. He played about. He played for a couple, of, a, a little bit higher than us. But he, he came on to play for the club. Can't remember if he had a season or he played a couple of permit games. Was was Paul Morris? Yeah. Fishy. I think his his son now plays. He's involved in in the Ospreys. Oh, Morgan uh, Morris, is it? Morgan Morris, yeah. yeah his player. father now. I know. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, Paul, like I said. It, He'd rather want him by you side yeah. than play against him. He went to Narbath. They played, played played for Dunvant. Yeah, I think. And I, and I, I think I think I first played against. He played. He was playing up in Triorki, I believe. Mm-hmm. I might be wrong, but anyway, it was always a battle. And again, there's a couple like uh, in Camarthen, Camarthen Quins was uh, Phil Bynan. Again, even must have been about five foot four, five foot five. Yeah, but what you just could not move him from that rack, honestly. You know, like Clancy's mould. Yeah. That, that that's what you, that's genuine. That's what he reminds me. Like, the latch. He once he had that ball, you, it was just and again, he, he was so strong. It was so hard to get him off the ball. Again, he's not the biggest of guys. Yeah. But he, again, he's another one that we had some tough battles with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so you. Yeah. Um, was was there like any any game now that you you know that you've been involved in you played in like a real memorable game for you and anything that sticks out in in your mind like you know? Um yeah so we go again it's a couple we we've, we've all had a couple of battles in youth mm-hmm. and stuff we, we start with a youth battle because uh, <laughs> we had one in youth I think if I remember it was a quarter final or the semi final of the cup uh, we played Dunvant. Uh, in the league down in, in, in Dunvant uh, we took over the club after we were in youth we took the club over so they said that we they knew we were playing at, at them at their place a couple of weeks later so we had the club had a phone call the, the, the youth team were banned <laughs> no, it was nothing uh, it was just drinking games singing yeah yeah dancing. that's good old times the good old times so yeah, yeah we we, we take so we, we weren't allowed to the club so that was a bit of a spur to us to, to go down there they were thinking they were the a, a, a good friend of mine now I, I messaged him this week funny enough about the game yeah and I said do you remember this game and he said yeah and uh so we played down the Elba because we weren't allowed to play at uh oh. Dunvant wow. so we, we were in the middle of this field all playing fields like many yeah. words down down in the Elba so we kick off the ball goes in the air. None of our pack are looking at the, at the ball. <laughs> Next thing, there's bodies everywhere. But this is from the kickoff. And uh, yeah, so it was quite a very cool game. Uh, if I remember, it was a drop goal from, from the halfway line by uh, Lee Cobner, I think his name is. And uh, it drops about three metres short. Next thing, the ref's arm goes up. That's enough. Oh, no. So you can imagine our crowd, they, you know, they're all celebrating. We had screamed. I think they not only beat us, they might have beat us by that three points, yeah. if I remember rightly. But, oh. yeah, that was, that's one in youth that really sticks out. Who, was, again, who was playing in your in your youth team then? Who was like, uh, the characters in that team then? Uh, so we had Jolly. You know, you all know Jolly. Top man, yeah. It's a bony mine. Uh, so we had, we had Gav Evans. Remember Gav in the prop? Yeah, yeah, good boy. Yeah, so we had Gav Evans, he was playing. Uh, I'm trying to think, Gron was another prop. Uh, we had man, uh, the top man, yeah, Gron does a lot for the club as well. Yeah, he does a lot for but the boys as well, yeah. He gets a bit of yeah, business out so of the boys. Yeah, so it was um, <laughs> myself myself in the back row with, who was the other, Geraint Davis. He, he does a lot, quite a bit maybe for the club. He owns uh, FS, uh, FSG yes, service. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's involved, and yeah, Will Cox played in the centre. Great player. So yeah, it's it, it was 
you know, like you said, we, we had some good battles. Like yeah. Coombs, he was on one wing maybe, which was yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, I can't remember the full team, but uh, that was about... Yeah, yeah. yeah it was good so, times. So, like, what was Dunvant, kind of like the team then back back in the day, you, you against Dunvant, it was always... Yeah, they, they, they had the odd youth, Welsh youth player playing for them. Yeah. And, um, like, they always have. They always... Um, fronting themselves really, uh, uh, you know, being the better side of the city maybe. Yeah. Nothing malicious or, but that's the way it's always. It's, it's been a massive derby, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and it always will be the biggest derby. Do you know what I mean? It's you know, um, it's it's been it's funny, mate, isn't it? Because like myself and you, we played both sides of it, don't we? So we played. We, we, we yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. when we went to Dunvant. This, we, I, I, again, I, I loved playing against the boys I did. Yeah. They kicked shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah. Days, but that's what I loved. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because well, I will, well, I will say, Dunn went massive, um, really enjoyed, enjoyed down there and, and looked after us as well and stuff. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Made some real good friends down there for yeah, me. I, and I still see a lot of the boys now and, um, like you said, you make friends wherever you yeah, go, whatever you club. And you might not see each other for years, you know. And uh, but yeah, I loved my time there. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know, I did enjoy it. But, I tell you, I tell you, what's funny. I tell you, what's like sticks out in my mind, right? It's like when you play, for, when you were playing for Bonham, you're like, right, you're playing against Dunvant. They'd be like, right, let's get stuck into these. They don't like get up bum kind of stuff, you know. And that like perception of like, you know, maybe maybe a little bit, you know, upper class to us kind of thing, like. And and yeah. so we'd go down there. And then when you and he like we were calling like surfies and stuff like that, like get stuck into these. And then when you were playing for them, he was like, "Go up there now, don't be afraid of these. They're only a bunch of flipping scallies and all that type of stuff." So yeah, it was, yeah, but yeah. it was, you know, that's the way that it was. Like, and I was more yeah, determined yeah. to beat Pony and than you know than I have in well, for. Yeah, you're right. As I said, I think we went we went to the club. I think we played in the cup. I think we beat them nine six. Yeah, I think we yeah. had to beat Pony that season in the in the cup. Yeah, I, don't know, was, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember the, the league games, I mean, but uh, yeah, it, again, the, the, we, I remember going to the club and there was no more motivation and going back to yeah. old club yeah. then uh, as such. Yeah. And uh, yeah, good times, good times. So oh, yeah, so going back, um, most memorable game probably would be um, when we played Newport. Probably um, in the on the Mova, Mova, is it? Mova Stadium, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the game still? Yeah, yeah, I can, mate. Yeah, I can and, remember uh, that. Jason so Foster, is it? He had yeah, a hell of a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, that was probably the most memorable game that I remember because we we'd never done. We got. I think it was the quarter final of the cup. Mm. Um, so we met. We met down the Ramada Jarvis. Yeah. We were down there at nine o'clock, ten o'clock. We all had scrambled egg. We had bre- you know, <laughs> we had breakfasts. Yeah. We had whatnot. So we, you know, we had to live the dream for the day. Yeah. And uh, so we drive down on the bus from the thing, and seeing the crowd that day, it must have been two to three thousand, maybe, maybe more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, surrounding the pitch, and you know, and that's again what you play play rugby for. You know, them days that, and it's one that will always stick in my head again. Um, playing against internationals and pitting, yeah. him, pitting himself against the best, basically. So, yeah. as as you said, Jason Forster, yeah, uh, level he was. Remember, he, uh, he was another boy I remember more than him because I don't think Forster was an international at that mm-hmm. time. He might have gone on to win a cap. He might have had a cap by then. Yeah, but was was another guy in the back row was Peter Buxton. Yes. Uh, he, he he had signed from Morsley, I believe, the season before. I think he went on to captain Gloucester, but he was never capped. So oh, from, right. from what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he was a giant of a guy, and um, it was just one of the most memorable games for me. Uh, again, from a kickoff, more or less. Uh, Lloyd Lloyd Griff yeah. goes up, collects it. Simon Rawalawi. Yeah. Uh, six foot six, yeah. 20 stone, mount, mountain of a man, yeah. just clobbers him, and he's flat on the floor. We look back from the ruck and he's gone. Yeah, 
and carrying him off on a stretcher. Go on. I, on the kickoff. Well, I, if I remember, oh, yes. I'm, sure, I, I'm sure it was from the kickoff, or they had an early penalty, or we did, yeah. and, and they it was more or less it was three or four minutes into the game. So yeah, and, and that little thing. So we didn't change rooms after the game. We lost 43. Uh, points to six, I think the final score was, but we give a good account of ourselves and yeah, yeah, and whatnot. And um, again, yeah, and, and Lloyd's standing there now. Come on, boys, we can beat these. <laughs> we, we'd already played 80 minutes, <laughs> he's just coming around, <laughs> he's, he's jogging on the spot. Like, I'm looking at him, are you, are you all right? <laughs> you can't remember about getting knocked out or nothing. And that's literally. The gods of truth. <laughs> we're all looking at him. We forgot to go around the wall because we were the stitches laughing at him. But yeah, a little Should more. Totally go on, get out there. We can do this. Like, we we got out to warm up. You know, we like, really? yeah, but, God. yeah, he'd literally got knocked through early three or four minutes into the game. It was it was quite fun. Like, well, not fun for him, but yeah. So that that was the, the most memorable game probably. Like I said, we played. Cardiff at the club we've we've played at the Arms Park in in the cup again we narrowly lost up, up, up in the Arms Park you know we had a great great yeah. side I think I remember it was a dodgy we had our own linesman I cannot remember the linesman for life for me I don't want to say his name, name anyway <laughs> but, the ref looks at, but the ref looks at him and it, it is a tight one for me yeah. he was in touch but we won't go down our road <laughs> So he looks at our he looks at our touch judge and they and they nod in the head. Oh, try, no. try. No, no. And, and this guy is. I'm sorry, it, it wouldn't have happened. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, it Black, did happen. Yeah, we now we lost that day up in up in the in Cardiff Arms Park. So yeah, you know, it's a couple of memorable games, but probably the the Morva Stadium one really oh. that stands out because it, it wasn't long after that it it, it got demolished. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can remember the um, the Cardiff away game. Um, I was still in college. Um, was you involved? Was you involved? Yeah, well, in I, that? I I had a game for the college, and we were going well with the college. So um, they were like, right, you you got to play for the college at a game against Stradi in the morning, and then they were like, yeah. well, it's Boney against Cardiff in the cup up in Cardiff Arms Park kind of thing. But yeah. I was captain and stuff, so I went down and played. I think we were winning well at half time down there. So my dad drove me straight up. To um to Caravans Park. I got there at half time. I remember I got yeah. there at half time, put my kit on, and it was really close, wasn't it? Really close game. I think he might have scored right towards the end, kind of thing. Towards the end, he might have scored two late tries. I think, yeah, yeah, it was to make it a bit of a buffer. I remember McCarthy saying, "Right, still go and warm up. You're going on. Go and change the game." So I made a bit of a warm up. Came back, stood by, stood by the touch judge. Right, go go on then. On you go. As I walked on the pitch, ref turned around, <laughs> blew up. End of the game. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I was that just like a typical Matthew McCarthy moment. Uh, go change the game, still. I think we're losing by fourteen <laughs> points or something. And three minutes left, so I didn't, I didn't yeah. manage the play. But I remember the whole experience and we having a few pints after the game. And uh, I think I was only young then, and uh, we went into town, didn't we? And, and then I remember yeah. someone saying, right, you can't go in in, in your bone of mine shirts. They're, they're stopping people. So I remember running to. Top shop or something like that, and and buying it, buying a shirt from the thing, and Lyndon Johnson being in there, and I picked the same same top as him, and he said, right, you got to pull that back, you're not dressing the same as me. I picked this shirt, it was massive, mate, it was dripping off me like kind of thing. And I remember going into town, and I think it was Colin, Colin Johnson, and and Alec had a good swig, like, but uh, yeah, 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 hell of an experience, mate. I, 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 I remember. He said them games. I thought I should. I thought you were involved in that game. I remember yeah, on the bench. Change the game, mate. With with change the change the game, yeah. Walk down and walk straight back off. <laughs> oh, but uh, you could have been involved, don't you? So, um, yeah. look looking back at your career, Di, and um, is there anything you you would change, mate? Is there anything you, um, you did differently? I probably nothing really, because uh, you are what you are, you know. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I probably would have hit the gym maybe a little bit sooner. In, in in my youth years, you don't you just don't think at the time that you're gonna go down that road. You just in youth, you just live in the dream and out there every weekend. And until it's not until later on you think, well, I could have hit the gym, could have hit a bit of uh, 
you know what, then yeah. you, you know. But uh, yeah, you know, I probably finished a little bit too early in my career. Well, not in my. You know, How old you, Dave? When you finished, I was uh, thirty, nearly thirty-two, I think, uh, still, so thirty-one. You know, and um, it's one thing a little bit of a regret that I, I, I couldn't play now, possibly, but you know, I could have played a little bit longer than I did then. Yeah. Really. So uh, that's that's about it, really. You know, there's nothing uh, other than that, really. Do you miss it, Mitt? Do you miss? Do you yeah. Miss it? That that again. Uh, I went. I totally distanced myself mm. away from it straight away. Yeah. I had, I had a young kid. You know, when I distanced myself away from rugby because I knew that I would be involved <laughs> yeah. somewhere along the line. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a strange one, really. You know, I do miss it. You know, I, I the last couple of seasons, I've been playing a bit of touch rugby in the summer in the Ospreys yeah. Cup down, uh, down St. Dallin's for there, which I, which I thoroughly enjoy. You don't, you, you never miss or lose the edge then to win yeah you know, of course it's only, yeah. it's, it's, only, it's only a bit of touch rugby yeah. but as oldies we still <laughs> we still giving it everything like and you've got these spring chickens thinking who the hell are these guys like <laughs> but, uh, yeah so i probably that's the only regret really i probably finished a little bit too early i could have played a little bit longer but i i broke my hand i think that season in the march or april and uh, didn't have lost a bit of work. Yeah. Went through it, so I couldn't uh, support in a young family. Yeah, yeah. And and that was, it, it. that was that was the decision. Really, basically said you either start or you out. So. <laughs> Where's my boots? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> yeah. So that that was it. Really, uh, you know, that's the only. Real regret, really. Probably finished a little bit early. Yeah. Well, there's only, you're only down the road, mate. If we ever, if we ever get back into it, mate, we'll. Uh, you're yeah, more than welcome, yeah. mate. Oh, more than welcome. One more game. One more. One, one more year, one, mate. One more game, innit? You win, John. So be happy days. Yeah, happy days. Ty, I, I, we're going to move on now, but to pick, pick your bone of mind fifteen, right? And I know the same as Mark last week. You've been stressing about it. I've seen you walk in the streets of bone of mind. <laughs> in uh, a quivering mess, mate. But um, yeah, it's been a. I'll, I'll probably change it as we speak, mate. I'm not going to lie. You find it difficult, mate. Difficult yeah. to do. Yeah, it's, it's been quite well, really, more or less every position. Because again, I, I I played with a couple of different generations. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like Mark John, Clem, Tony Stewart, that 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 era. Then uh, Will Cox and that come through. Smithy, Dugsy, yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, and then yourself were coming through the younger boys, Clancy, you know, Richard Caniff, Greg, yeah. you know, Brooksy come through, you know. So I played. Through, it's just been a really tough to pick. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if let's, I let's, let's go for it, mate. So we're we're gonna we'll start off on the loose, mate. So we go on the loose said uh, possibly uh, Andre May. It is. Um, mm-hmm. Mayor, absolutely beast of a player. Um, he's just, he was like an extra back or back row forward. Yeah. He was, he's, he had great hands on him for a prop. You know, um, always found himself in the centre, wouldn't it? Many rucks. <laughs> but, but, but a great, great ball carrier for you. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, to get him over that game line, absolute mount of a man, you know, so. He was tall as well, wasn't he? he, was, he was, yeah, he was a big, big, big man, really big man. So, yeah, uh, Andy May would be, be my uh, loose head. Cool, he's locked in. Okay, mate. Okay, well, there's, there's only one, really, and uh, it's, it's the Darren Paul end. Um, just, just a born leader, mate. Absolutely run through, run through a wall. Yeah. You follow. And do as I say, and I, and that's the mentality. And what a what a player as well. The yeah, board. class man. Absolute legend of a guy, even better yeah. guy as well. You yeah. know, um, like you said, I had some great players, but Darren again was just an absolute yeah, privilege to play with because he was 
possibly one of the best I've played with, even though he was an up guy, like for his leadership skills. Yeah. And uh, and whatnot. But again, I played with Ian Jones, Steph. Steph yeah. couldn't have come to a club, Steph James. Yeah, uh, yeah. This time in his life, probably. Mm-hmm. Because Darren, you know, Darren's Darren. And, and um, if, if Steph had gone to another Division One club and played, he, he would have played and gone on to be a legend because Steph was that good a player as well. Yeah, yeah. It, but because Darren was in front of him, Steph, it was, it was, you know, they tried rotating, but it was only one player that was going to play. He used to have some battles as well, didn't he? Fair play. Oh yeah, it, it, again, Darren. Yeah, so Darren with Darren, Darren Poland's my number he, two. Yeah, he's your number two, mate. Right, tight dead. So tight dead is um, Nigel Evans. He won uh, nothing uh, spectacular. Wouldn't get. He wouldn't offer you a bean around the field. Wouldn't. He wouldn't hit the ruck. He did the ruck. He'd put his arm over, and, and that's about it. But when it comes to scrummaging. The guy, he was so small, he was just unmovable then. Yeah. And, yeah. That's, what I, I, and that's what so I've gone for. Again, we had, we had Leighton Gerard come to the club, you know, yeah. another... Beast of a player now. Beast of a player, like. But I've gone for Nigel uh, in, in that respect, because just just basically for his scrummaging. But, um, yeah, he's a, he's a lovely guy as well. Is, is yeah, he's Tom. He used to, he used to uh, give me a few choice words like as a young nine coming through and yeah. trying to few, few tap tap on goals and stuff and he'd be like, <laughs> no, no uncertain terms. No quick you don't, you don't no, that, no, no. I think <laughs> when he joined the club, he was 36. I think when he left about 10 years later, he was still 36. <laughs> That's, but but uh, okay. we had some good times with Nigel. And uh, yeah, so Nigel would be... Uh, He's in there, That's, strong yeah. mate, such a strong front row. Um, go four, mate. So, number four, um, again, I've gone, played with a couple of great second rows. I'll name four or five together, but I'll name yeah. a couple of them. Again, John Bowden, Lee Robbins. Yeah. Uh, Mountain of, of men. Um, but the pick, uh, the two picks I've gone for, Chris Gittins, just so reliable. Again, just... Good, yeah. good around the field, big lad, great, probably the best line of forward that we've ever had at the club. Yeah. And just and so it would be, he'd be an eight out of ten every single week. He wouldn't drop off. He, I don't think I've ever seen him have a bad game. Consistent every just game, like bang, bang. And he, he was again. I think Chris was captain uh, for a while, for a long time yeah. at the club. Yeah. And uh, again, a great leader. Um, and yeah, Mr. Reliable, that's why we called him. So, um, and then the, other, the other one is Gav Evans. Gav, yeah. Gav, big Gav. Again, a mountain of a man. And uh, well, the, the man could move, he could yeah. shift. He was like having an extra back on the field because, again, he didn't find himself in many rucks. Oh. Well, you know, he, when he needed to, he did, he did in fairness. But um, he was massive, wasn't he? Oh, massive he was a bloke. massive guy, and um, break the game line every single yeah. time. If the move and it come off, he'd be over the game line. I think I remember he was he was up there and one of the top try scorers for that one season. Yeah, yeah, he scored that many levels. tries. But yeah. Um, yeah, so the other one is Gav Evans. Good stuff. Line side, mate. Yeah, so we, we, uh, who did I go for? Six. So it, I still, I'm still shaking my head now. Who do I pick? <laughs> I've got two names on the sheet, and literally, I could, I could. Come on, give us, give us both, mate. Then we'll make I'll, a decision. I'll give you both, right? Because they're go both on. very similar. But you've got to pick one, or so. I've got to me. pick one. So Andrew McPherson. Yeah. Was, uh, I just, well, unbelievable player. Um, and the other one is is Tony Sturgis. Oh no! Big, so big Tony. Yeah. I didn't play long with Tony. He come probably come later on in his career. Tony had been about and and he came back to the club along with Drakey, I believe that around that time anyway. And so it would have been me, Drakey, and uh, 
Tony or, or Powell, you know, in the yeah. back row and on a back row, you know, we couldn't have got a bigger, Flipper. bigger back row. Do you know what I mean? Um, apart from yourself. Yeah, apart from yourself, <laughs> obviously. So they'd always give the ball to me, yeah. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to think I'm going to go with Tony Sturgis. Tony Sturgis. Yeah, okay. again, Percy, it's, it's nothing in him, really. But I'm just going to go for Tony, I think. Cool. Good good choice, Paul. Good choice. Yeah, so... Seven. Seven. So, again, there's a couple of players. So, I've gone... The Rat is one of them. Arlene, again, I said, when I was coming through, coming out of the youth and the seniors, looking up to the first team, Camp, uh, Martin Thomas, uh, yeah. and Campo, uh, the Rat, Lee Carson was another one that was there, playing seven. But the one I think I'm going to go with is um, Lloyd Griffiths. He predominantly played um, eight. He right. did, but he always seemed he 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 played. He wanted he wanted to be a seven, but he was a big range. I don't know if you remember Lloyd. I you can't. Lloyd? I should admit, no. Yeah, big big tall. Really yeah, God. Big. Yes, 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 Edgar. I think I, think I must have, I must have seen him. Yeah, Lloyd Griff again, superb hands for the back row. Mm. You know, always be the link. Great bit every ruck. Good physical, loved it. Um, yeah, so I, I've gone for Lloyd Griffiths. Good stuff, pal. Uh, number eight. So number eight. Uh, number eight again is, is Andrew Llewellyn. Yeah. Come really close. You know, he, he come as a as a young pup then. I yeah. think, uh, if I remember, Ron Waldron um, brought him to the club with Keith Hollyfield, and he, he he was a young pup, and but they could see the potential in this in this kid. Like, yeah, yeah. Spend a long time, and and again, what a great player, what a great through his body into everything. He, yeah. you know. Even though he was a Nice, I think Nice athletic, I might be wrong, but even though he was a Nice athletic boy, when he came to Bowling Mine, he was a he was like he ourselves, was he, he was Bowling Mine through and through and spent a number of a number of years there then. So, but I've gone again, um, old JT Powell is yeah. no other because again, it was just a privilege to play with that guy because he would just. Offload the ball. It'd be one on his leg, one on either leg, yeah. Yeah. two on the back. Yeah. And he still managed to get the ball. I, I still to this day don't know how he done it. But but what a guy, what a and and, and again, what a character. Off yeah. the absolute legend. He's a lunatic, isn't he? Yeah, he's a lunatic. What a legend. Lovely That's, guy as well, you know. What an absolute, absolute gentle giant. You put I think if you voice. you put put that pack on, mate, I reckon you get at least Four yellow cards in, 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 one, in one game, hundred yeah, percent. Possibly, possibly more it's than a that. Few, it's a few yellows on that team. I tell you, I know. Yeah. But mate, that's a strong pack. No offense, got a bit of everything there as well, haven't you? Yeah. So it's it's, it's everything there. Um, um, right then, mate. Scrum off number nine. Oh, there's another one again. They played some. So it's been some. Outstanding players at the club, you know, go back as far as Mikey Clem. And you know, I, I don't think Mikey Clem was playing, but I remember watching him growing up, so I didn't actually play with Mikey, I don't think. Yeah, um, so we got Danny Hawkins, Adrian Killer, yeah, quality, absolute quality. Along comes then, um, Bulldog. I remember Pinnock. What a player. What a season we had out of him. Oh my what, goodness. What to see just like I, I was talking to Chris Chris Jones, oh. you know, and, and he says because funny enough, go back last summer, we sat we were having a barbecue in lockdown. Yeah. Uh, and we when we picked we were trying to pick our best fifteen, believe oh, it or not. Right. It's coming so, handy. Yeah. Fifteen months ago. So we I've been <laughs> texting all week, what do you think it is? <laughs> blah blah blah. But yeah, so and we mentioned Bulldog, and we were just like, "What? He's like a caged animal." He, but, but, I, oh, ridiculous. But, but off the field, you couldn't have met a nicer guy, like. Yeah. You know? 
So, uh, but I, I've gone for Mark Davis, Seth. Oh, mate, what a player. And what, what a top man as well. So, Absolute again, legend. the top man. Um, body small, Mark was. Um, but he would boot, he would kick. He, oh. He, he, he would be, he'd do anything he was. He, what a player. Just, again, an absolute gent of a guy. And, uh, yeah, so I've gone for Mark Davis, Seth. No, Mark, no. Mark was was the top man. I and mean, when I was coming through, like I learned, I learned so much from Mark. And oh. you know, and, and I, I was happy just you know to kind of watch him. And 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 I remember once he said uh, he was starting, and I was on the bench, and um, he said to me, "Oh, you have some game time today now." And I was like, "Oh, mate, look, whatever it is, what it is." He goes, "Oh no, don't worry, you have some game time." And then, <laughs> like into the second half, he kind of like give me a go warm up, and I was like, "What are you on about? Yeah, go go warm up." And then within five minutes, he's, he's coming off. Like I said, he's hurt himself, but he, he had like he just wanted, yeah, to, yeah he either wanted a rest or, or he wanted to give me a bit of game time. Like so, as yeah, um, yeah, an absolute legend of a guy as well. That's, Mark, you know, a lot of respect for Mark. Uh, a quality, quality player. Like I said, I've been privileged to play with some some uh, absolute amazing players yeah. that I look up to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what a player. Uh, outside half, but. Outside half, so again, I can name uh, Gareth Jones, you know, yeah, you know, God. great guy, Stuart Davis, uh, Jamo. Yeah. You know, Jamo, we had, a, we had a great couple of seasons out of Jamo. 200 odd points, didn't he? Uh, One year, wasn't he? Ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, ridiculous. But again, this guy I, I'm going to name, again, he wasn't the biggest of tacklers. He admitted himself, yeah. but he said that he'll say that's what the back row are for. You know, he was that type of player. Sure, yeah. but so off the cuff, it was. But anyway, Jason Davis. I don't know if you remember him. I know. Uh, Play cricket, cricketer. Is that the one? Yeah, the cricketer. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, again, the first game I remember, Jason. I again, I wasn't playing that day, but we were midweek up at Glamorgan Wanderers. Uh, so we get on the bus. I was in judge, so we go on the bus to make the journey. Anyway, so we kicks off, blah blah blah. Jason scores a try, kicks the conversion, kicks a penalty, kicks a penalty. Yeah. Scores another try. Anyway, he goes on. I think he still, believe it or not, holds. I'm not. I might. You might not. You might, might not. You might know who who holds the record points for one game, yeah. but. I'm sure it's around the 40 mark, God. or 42 points. He scored something like three tries, maybe four tries, whatever it was. But yeah. he, 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 and that's a, and then that was a late in the season. I think it was April or March that we played. He came on permit because we were struggling with injuries that season, and then he signed the following season. But that was the first memory, and I thought. This kid is something it's, else. Like, you know what I mean? like, yeah, 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 yeah. He scored 42 points, and I think I believe I might be wrong in in the, but it's around that points total. God, that's impressive, scored. man. I think, he scored, yeah, I think, but it was a wow of a game because I think the game finished like 42, 38 maybe. Oh. So you know, and that's the first. I saw Jason Davis, and for that reason, basically, that you know, he was a great player. And again, off the cuff, great hands. But we could, I could pick any one of, like I said, in any position. Yeah, yeah, talented. Yeah, talented. Just ten. so talented. Um, left wing, mate. So I don't know if he plays on the wing, left wing or not. Um, I go for Bat- anyway. Get him on a wing, innit? Get him yeah. on a wing. So I go <laughs> for Chris Bats for there. Yeah, I top man. So again, um, Chris, come. I think he, he was. Chris is my age, so maybe you're younger than me. But um, he signed from, oh, I think, Glace, maybe, but along with Di Hawkins, okay. who, who had just had the Welsh Youth Caps, I believe. And uh, what an f- absolute finisher. Yes, yeah, flying, isn't he? Oh. Absol- he'd score masses, tries from anywhere in the park. Yeah, yeah. Just absolute gas step. He had a bit of everything, you know, about him. And he was, an, he, he, you know, he was a gutsy, gutsy Yeah, player. he gets stuck in, didn't he? Fair he play put, to put him. his head anywhere. 
Yeah. You know, and, uh, so I, uh, so I've gone for Chris Batsford. Yeah, he top man. You know, obviously he came back and he coached us for a while as well, mate. And uh, yeah, well, again, he led to a guy. You know, I'd say he, he loved his time at the club. Yeah. And you know, I see him quite often walking about the part of Delhi, and we, we again we always have a chat and see how things are going on and stuff. So yeah, good, top a... top guy, top guy. Uh, inside centre, mate. Um, so I've gone for. I'm not going to go through names because if so, this these the 12 and 13. Yeah. There's two hardest ones. I don't know why. I know you were struggling with these. Yeah, you see. I, I, I struggled because I got I got five names here, and I could put any one of them, <laughs> or any two of them, should I say, uh, into them two positions because. But I so I gone for Mark John the the, the goat. The legend that is, uh, again, uh, what a character, top guy. Yeah. To be playing, to be playing a 50 is just, yeah. I, I still look up to him, you know. And, yeah. Uh, what, what a guy. Absolute. And he, again, he couldn't meet the nicer guy off the field, you know. Bit of an animal on the pitch, you know. Oh, yeah. He, he, he'd be right up for the game. I've seen him, you know, seen him go off a few times. Yeah, but, it's, uh, he's come back to us, like, and, and he's really, I don't know, it's, he's, he's fitted in, but people, straight away, they respect him, straight away as a, a yeah. character, like, and, um, you know, legend status at the club, like, do you know what I mean? And oh, he knows that. Like uh, the t- the two for me are the stick out the dar and you know the goats because yeah. for me they it, not in their positions but what they done for the club and you know and in their careers as well you know so and so went to Barber and played the dar and went to Neath yeah. but they always found a home back yeah yeah do you know do you know what I mean definitely so so Mark John is the um is the inside centre yeah. Uh, on the 13, I've gone for Coxy, Will Cox. Brilliant player. So, again, a uh, good friend of mine, great, but just a great guy, grew up with Neil. Top man. Top man. So, um, I'm just what a player. Again, what you put into words, it's, it's hard to put into words about these players because we see them as, 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 as friends, you know, and players. Yeah, just, yeah. Playing on a park, do you know what I mean? What what I loved about Neil was um, he came back to us after the, I think he'd be done Quins, might have been Quins, and yeah, um, I think he came back to us from there. And we were young, we were like, you know, we were in Division One and we were, we were kids like in in Ali, and he came back to us and and he was different level. He he he, he, Again, he was super for us like his, his attitude and and. He was really calm and he nothing phased him. Can't kick like, but he didn't no, have no. to. Oh, I think defensively as well. Oh my god. Yeah, defensively. But again, from from the youth days, you would never have said that maybe about him. Mm. Not not being a top player, but when he went away and come back, he was different level. Yeah, yeah. absolutely different level. And that's why I've gone for him really. But when he came back to the club, because and he still has his tops. Um, Sewn in by his biceps as well, didn't he? To make his arms look bigger. So fair play yeah, for him, right? He still, uh, he still has that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll name a couple of other guys in that, that I've left out. Uh, Peter Rod, uh, Peter Roberts. Yeah. It, again, what a kicking machine. Just put him on a touchline, Fine. whatever touchline. Just tough. Give me the ball. He had gas. He had everything. Dugsy, same as Will Cosby. Yeah, Cosmets. yeah. Uh, we had and Smithy was the other one, Paul Smith. Underrated player as well. So, so, so underrated. But I, yeah. I, I couldn't I couldn't pick Smithy because Mark John was twelve. Yeah, yeah. And, that's right. <laughs> and you know, um basically that that's the reason I am picked him because it, you, had the, you had the goat there. I, I, the goat, yeah. So I take him out to the side and uh <laughs> Smithy would have been in, possibly. Well, probably would have been in. But again, come to the club, didn't know anybody, fitted in seamlessly, you know, character. And the time, I think I speak to him now and again through football. And um, 
with the kids and that. And you know, he says he still says he loved his time at, at Bonnie yeah. Mine. Do you know what I mean? Great man. Brilliant. Uh, who's on your right wing, mate? So I go on for um, Johnny Young. Is another one. Johnny Young. Yeah. Johnny Young. Uh, he struggled through with injuries, Johnny. But the guy knew where the try line was. Right, like, yeah. Oh, again, he, he had no fear, you know, just absolutely, well, you know, just a finisher for me. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I picked him, because he, he would go around the player on a drop when I didn't, didn't need much room. Yeah. So, but yeah, I've left out Paul John, Paul, Nicky Bonham, again, Bonham. flying machines. But I just, fin- I just picked Johnny Young. Purely because of his finishing. You just pipped so, it, did he? But yeah, I just pipped it. A uh, 15 minute fullback, last one. So again, we played with a couple of great fullbacks. Uh, Spud Richard Lewis come to the club. He played 10, but he could play 15. Played played quite a bit of 15, if I remember rightly, because Gar Jones was was 10 as well. Uh, but I've gone for Dala Williams. Oh, what a guy! I just. The one cap wonder, as he's known. Yeah. But again, um, just so reliable. Come into the come into the line when he first signed. What a what a, you knew that he was a different level to anything, yeah. and then he went to the Scarlet, I believe, or yeah, to yeah. Left or whoever. But he again he found himself back at Pony Mine. Um, wasn't quite the player that he was, but. For the first years, just and um, when the tight the full back at the line, it was a try. Yeah, you he know, was, he, he, was, had, he looked like he had so much time on the ball and everything, and he was, he he was the, the great brilliant. players. The great players look like they've got all yeah, the time yeah. in the world, and yeah, and Daryl was one, was one of them players. I can remember Daryl. Um, um, I guess Glamorgan Wanderers away we played. And I was on the bench, whatever, and I, I I came on, and he was just so calming because it was quite quite a quite intense game, and he was just like look, go out and play your own game, and you know he's a Welsh international, like, and I yeah. just flip my neck, fair play, and, and yeah, he played for the seconds and everything, like you know, and um, showed how much so, the club so meant, down meant to us. Yeah, so down to earth and and again, what a lovely guy off the field, just absolute gentleman, like, you know, and but. Yeah, Darrell Williams. I've left out Chris Chris Lewis, but you know, Fred, which Mark yeah. picked out last week, you know, Chris was again another one absolute he ran he ran through a brick wall. Yeah. And uh, you know, he again wasn't the biggest guy, but once he hit the line, he was electric. Absolute I don't know if you remember him playing. Do you remember him playing? I I can't, mate, no. I can't. I might even bit before me. So yeah, Chris Lewis. So but but Darrell again just pips it. Um, it. I can call the name players, but it's just you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the look at that team, man. That's a, that is a, such a strong team. Fair play. Like I said, few yellow cards in there, like but um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> the back strong team. Right. The back <laughs> locker, like, the forwards. Two uh, <laughs> headers in there. That one really. Yeah. Oh uh, mate, just just like. Just to kind of like round up, really, pal. And um, obviously, bottom of mine through and through. And um, you know, you've enjoyed your time up there. Is it, you know, is there any, you know, what 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 does what does the club mean to you? Uh, you know, from a young age to to where you are now. You know, what? Like, like I said um, earlier, watching that game of Swansea, you know, rugby was our life as, as kids. You know, we had a, always had a rugby ball. You know. Yeah. Like I said, I. I Predominantly a football family, then as such. Yeah. But I, I absolutely love my time at Boney, and I, I always will. You know, it was, and it just means everything really. You know, and I, I'll always go back, and you know, yeah. and and be one of the boys. I say we are, we we got a WhatsApp group with the older boys now. You know, Will Cox and uh, anyway. So, but you know, we we have a crack, and but we'll be friends for life. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. what. And that's what rugby brings, you know. I said, remember the road trips when we went to Dunvant last season. We loved Dunvant, but we yeah. always found we always found our way back to where we belonged. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. 
Um, yeah, Dave, thanks, thanks for all your time, mate. I've loved speaking speaking to you, mate. I just want to reiterate, basically, mate, like being a bottom line boy and everything, mate, and someone that I looked up to, mate. And, you know, it's great seeing you back at the club and, and watching the games and everything with us. But then, uh, you know, long may that continue. Hopefully we get some rugby in soon. Um, yes. You know, so we can come back up, put those boots back on for one more time, mate, and we'll. Yeah, maybe, mate, maybe. Yeah. Like I said, I, it's the fittest probably I've ever been in my life. <laughs> you know, I was quite fit in my early years, but yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, it's probably the fittest and leanest I've been for a long, long time, and I'm quite happy in life. And like I said, it's my happy place. That's where I go. But I don't think I could take the knocks anymore. I hey, mean, it would be fine. You, we, we can manage that. We get all the youngsters running around for you. We can just be there, like. Just dropping off a few passes, scoring a few tries, a few pints on a Saturday. Job done, mate. Yeah, job done. Maybe, maybe one day. One day. Uh, well, I well, ho- hopefully you enjoy it, mate. And um, obviously, oh, loved it, mate. Loved it. This, this is just to kind of um, promote the club again. Um, trying to get, trying to get the club out there on social media and stuff. And we've got plans to um, start some, some challenges, mate. Some, some running yeah. challenges, some cycling challenges, uh, to raise a bit of money for the club for, for new floodlights and. Um, new training pitches for, for the junior section and stuff like that, mate. So this is, you know, another reason why we're doing these these videos is to try to drum up a bit more, um, you know, memories of the club and hopefully we can, we can bring back more people who used to play play for us or who's involved in the club back in the day and we can start creating a good uh, good feel again and, and hopefully when this lockdown's over, we can have a massive celebration up there and uh, get everybody together. And, you know, I've been told to say this, if... These videos now are going to be on like YouTube, and I'm not into all this type of stuff. But you can just subscribe to our YouTube channel to everybody who's enjoying these type of things. And then, uh, yeah, we, the more and more views we get, obviously, the more shares we get, um, putting us out there on social media. Yeah, massively, mate. Yeah, mate. I've uh, like I said, I've, I've loved it. I've been oh, man. scratching my head for the last. Yeah, it's been brilliant, mate. I've been loving these messages out the week, pal. I thought. Uh, I've been, I've been enjoying it. I seen you walking around the other day, scratching your head. Yeah, well, so, so. I, like I said, I probably changed my changed my mind twice. <laughs> this side, but, oh, but, brilliant! Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely loved it, mate. So thanks for the good thanks stuff. for the hey, good thing. speaking to you, Dai. Look after yourself, and uh, hopefully see you soon, mate. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you very Take much. Care, Take Ta-ra, care. Ta-ra, mate.